Hi, this is Susan Leventero. This reading is going to be a love reading for Aries. Okay, so I've got these new cards. Let's see how, how we do here with these. Okay, so uh, these are like from the Greek uh, stories, <laughs> and I was saying that I don't know that uh, we want to repeat some of those uh, <laughs> dramatic things that happened <laughs> with them, but um, I liked it because they have like a mix of uh, all kinds of uh, imagery, right, with uh, both sexes. Okay, so... Um, Okay. Okay, let's see what I pick up here. Give me a minute. Okay, Aries, uh, what I'm picking up here is that in the past, a lot of times you put uh, your career, your work, uh, other things, uh, other priorities before you, right? Um, so, and then even I'm seeing, even when you did give to love, uh, there were times when that uh, the, became the back burner, Okay, you had to put love on the back burner, and then sometimes that caused uh, certain relationships to fall apart. Okay. All right, so uh, I feel like now um, with this Odysseus card, okay, you're willing to uh, put love on the forefront and willing to fight for it is what I'm picking up here. Okay, so... Um, I feel like love is your nature here with pan in the center. That's your true state. Okay, so uh, moving with love and compassion. Okay. All right, so. Okay, so um, I, I feel like there was a lot of grounding dreams into this physical reality. Okay, with that pan card in the center. Okay, but I feel like with all the material, um, you going back into your natural setting uh, also will be uh, beneficial to you in nature, moving in nature. Okay, all right. And I feel like by going into nature and connecting with nature will also help you bring clarity to whatever it is you are manifesting now, okay, into this physical reality. Okay, so this is a now, okay. Um, so maybe do that. Uh, like give yourself a free Sunday and go out into nature if you can and connect with it. Okay. All right, so I'm picking up for a lot of you, music um, will be very um, uplifting during these stressful times. Okay, so uh, perhaps music without words is what I'm receiving here. Okay, so maybe find something that your heart uh, can connect with uh, in sounds. And here there is a string instrument. Okay, but since Pan showed up, maybe perhaps some flute music. Okay, so um, 
So there's that. And I feel like tuning into your own energy will help you move in faith and love. Because I feel here uh, there's like two directions, okay? So I feel like you can unify that in love, okay? By moving with your natural state. Just surrendering whatever you're resisting back here and move in your natural state of love and compassion, connecting to nature and music, I feel like will help you open up to this love that perhaps in your subconscious, uh, maybe you don't know, but if you're here now, you know, uh, there is a desire for it. Even if you have pushed that way down and um, may not even be aware of it, but um, just to let you know, um, it's there. Okay, so. Okay, so then with this pleasure card, okay, so some of you, I feel like, uh, due to not wanting to give energy to a full connection with love and physical pleasure, uh, perhaps you were experimental and trying different things, okay, but I feel like what you really desire is uh, a trusting uh, relationship, a relationship where there's trust, okay, and if it's just a sexual union, uh, it may not be uh, satisfying because you uh, here you are moving in faith, and so I feel like that is going towards this sacred union that you desire, okay, where there is trust, where there is uh, like an equal give and take, and um, a deep love. Uh, there is a depth there that will be more satisfying than just these uh, kind of, uh, you know, quick connections, Okay, so some of you are engaged, I see. Okay, so, um, okay, so I just want to say this, uh, you're moving towards marriage, so I want you to uh, look and see, okay, where did I put love on the back burner before, and see if you can, ch okay, pick a new path to move in so that you're not repeating the same cycles okay for the for those who are engaged okay now for the single ones that are getting engaged here okay so i see like uh, for some february promises and um and then uh for some uh it may come sooner than that. Okay. So marriage, uh, I see June. Okay. For some of, of you who are connected. Okay. All right. Already. Okay. So here we go. Let's see. I'm going to read this now. Okay. Because I feel like deep down this is what you desire. So let's read number 14. I just got these, and I'm going to show you the book. Okay. All right. So what's nice is this this book is in English, Italian, Spanish, and uh, Portuguese. Okay. All right. So... Here we go. This is the love story for this. It was a torrid love affair between him and her and him, her. Just the three of them. And it was time to explore. Need we say more? Ah, the beauty and the ecstasy they found by allowing their passions to abound and explode in a current of euphoria. Pleasure is the principle. And on that faithful night, love was found in some queer places indeed. <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep going, and then I'll, I'll go. Okay. All right, so, uh, okay, making love. Action. Do something for yourself today. Try to break away from that part of 
your conscious mind that says, no, no. Yeah, that's that resistance I was talking about. Or places judgment on what otherwise would come naturally to you. Go deeper into your pursuit of pleasure. You deserve to be happy. Now show it. Okay. So for some of you, that may mean uh, multi-connections in love, okay, is what I just picked up. Okay, so, uh, but I, the, ma the majority is, I'm moving towards monogamy is what I'm picking up here. But with that said, it's like um, releasing the resistance to explore so you can figure out what it is you truly want here. Okay, so, right, okay. So, um, here we go. Being love. Here's the meditation. Embrace pleasure as an expression of, of the beauty of the body. Allow love to take hold and guide you to ever higher levels of bliss and excitement. Okay. So, I feel like what the suggestion here is... Um, you, I guess I would use protection, okay? Um, but anyway, so <laughs> just be mindful of that, okay? And um, if you're exploring to kind of release your inhibitions and raise your self-esteem during this time, okay, uh, be sure that you're taking uh, precautionary measures, right? Okay, <laughs> let loose, but, t <laughs> but uh, okay, but, you know, to a degree there. Okay, so here's the affirmation for the sacred union. Okay, and this, per some, for some of you seeking pleasure. Okay, I accept and indulge in pleasure. I am loved. Okay. So some of you that's within a monogamous relationship, you're exploring pleasure. Okay. So I accept in, and indulge in pleasure. I am love. So I, this, this, is, this card here is suggesting releasing the resistance and exploring. Okay. So there's that. Okay. All right. So, um... According to this reading, uh, sometimes the sexual connections can turn into love. Okay. Um, that's what I pick up for some. Okay. But just be mindful when people are moving without love. Okay. Uh, things can happen. So, uh, you know, uh, be mindful of that while you're exploring. Okay. And uh, so let's see. Let me get three angel cards on that. High Priestess, Three of Cups, <laughs> okay, okay, all right, so this is how it went, okay, it went High Priestess, so use your intuition, okay, before you start doing multi-anything, I would tune within and see what the guidance is from within. Okay. But you can release resistance without doing the multi thing. Okay. Here's the three of cups. So, <laughs> okay. So this is celebrations. It doesn't have to be uh, multi partners. This could be the holidays coming up, right? It could be like, um, Christmas or whatever you celebrate coming up here in the near future. Okay, so here it says fame and renown. Renown. Okay. Influences, commerce, voyages, and great discoveries. So I feel like it's like discovering yourself again, whether you're in a monogamous relationship or going towards, you know, just exploring your sexuality within a monogamous relationship or, you know, um, a partner of just a sexual nature. Okay. So here's five of swords. So that's the thing. I feel like, uh, take precaution because, and go within because, you know, there could be some of these entanglements with that. So when five of swords to six of swords walking away, and I feel like this is what you really want is that monogamous. Okay. So then the moon showed up. So, um, there is that hidden 
factor, right? When you do that kind of stuff. Okay, so, and then here's the Ace of Wands. So I feel like, um, so you may have a natural urge with this Ace of Wands here to uh, kind of explore your sexuality, right? Okay, so, yeah, so, but, okay, so I would... I would go within and tune in so you don't end up being sharp here in the end, okay? You don't want to go from Ace of Wands to the Swords over here, okay? So, um, so I would, um, you know, at least protect yourself sexually if you're going to do those kinds of, you know, uh, things. Okay, and I leave you with that, Aries. This was very, uh, <laughs> like a movie here, beginning of a, a movie. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you with that, Aries.